everyone watching BEFTA TV. I'm Anya James, and today I'm here with our lovely nominee. Hi, I'm Jimmy Akambola. And Jimmy, what are you nominated for this year? Ah, well, I'm nominated for Best Actor okay. in the TV category, yeah. and I've been blessed to be nominated for Best Actor in the Film category as well. And uh, I've got a company called Trifles Promotions, okay. and we've been nominated for Best Event Promoter. So. That's three nominations. Right? Three nominations, so hopefully three <laughs> awards as well. I, I'm hoping so. <laughs> the, the worrying thing now is like being nominated for three things and then not winning anything. But um, I'm hoping we win at least one I'm thing. sure you'll win at least one. I I've seen so. some of your work. I've seen uh, the Crouches. Oh, OK. So I know, I know you're quite a talented actor. Oh, uh, good. No, that was a long time ago. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. Just trying to keep growing and learning. and. And just, yeah, trying to be the best that I can be, really. You Brilliant. Know? But it'd be nice to win something for TV or film. I've won a theatre award, but I've not won anything for film mm -hmm. or TV. So, you know, sometimes it's good to have those little accolades. Definitely, so when you're not working for a year, yeah. you can go, oh, I was good. That, 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 that trophy, that, that means I was it. good. That shows it, yeah, it shows <laughs> it. <laughs> so how did you get into acting? Wow, well, basically, um, I, when I was at secondary school, mm -hmm. I used to... I used to just play a lot of football, like a lot of young boys, semi-professional, my district. But then uh, in terms of subjects, I used to love drama and just okay. working with different people. And I was always quite open to, you know, in drama, in the uh, lessons, you might get those ones that you're not so good at drama. And you'd be like, no, we don't want them in your group. We don't want them in your group. I'd and you like, want him? Just come, just uh, come. Okay. I, you know, I can, I can work with anybody. <laughs> And then my drama teacher, Mr. Tyres, used to always take me out of like maths, which has made me suffer. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can handle my wages, but uh, <laughs> that's about it. And then, um, and I used to help him with drama. And then when I got to leaving, I just looked at my results and I had an A in drama. And I just thought, I don't know what else I want to do, but I've got an A here. Yeah, that's and your calling. So let me just yeah, go and test it. Yeah. You know, I didn't know I was going to be an actor. I thought, let me go, let me just go and test it. So. I did a BTEC National Diploma in Performing Arts at okay. um, Epping Forest College. Uh, yeah. My secondary school was Cumberland School. And then um, the first week at Epping Forest was an assignment to write a monologue, truth, truthful or fiction. And I did a, like a stand-up routine, stroke monologue, and it went down. Uh, you know, loads of people clapping, mm -hmm. standing ovation. And oh, I remember brilliant. at that moment, it was like an invisible arrow. I was like, ah, I'm going to be an actor. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I'm going to go to drama do. school, yeah. I'm going to get an agent. And then I'm going to just work. That, mm -hmm. that was how sort of naive but also focused I was at 16, you know. And, um, and yeah, and so since then, I've sort of just been on this, I think, beautiful journey, this mm -hmm. path of just slowly growing up. It didn't happen quick for me. I started sort of at the bottom, spear oh, carry yeah. at the back. Guy's got one line, but he's in the West End. And, and just slowly but surely, I've... And you've built your way up. Yeah, and yeah. It's just pure hard work, I mm. take it. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Like, you know work ethic and you know I, I feel like I have got some talent but I know there's a lot of other <laughs> oh, actors. Oh I'm sure you have talent you wouldn't have been nominated for an award if you oh, did no, no, It's true but you know I, I'm aware that there are other good actors out there and um, you know better than me and whatnot but I, I always feel like you know I work hard mm -hmm. so yeah. you know hopefully the work ethic backs up the talent and then the talent and the work ethic takes advantage of the luck because there's a lot mm. of luck in this game but you've got to have to, is, I think the you know the, the talent, mind and the talent yeah, to take advantage definitely. of it when it's your opportunity but um but yeah so it sort of just started like that really and I, you know I feel like I when I came out of drama school I did I went to Aura Academy of Live Recorded Arts okay and um it's sort of like going to <laughs> to prison you do three years and then you come out on good behavior <laughs> you know and um <laughs> but it's hard you know I say a lot of people, when you go to drama school, it really flips your head. Mm. You're being told you can't walk properly, talk properly, act properly. Yeah. So you get broken down. And, um, and rebuild and yourself. Then they, yeah, you mm. have to rebuild yourself. Mm -hmm. And you have to do it. They mm -hmm. don't really do it. Some do, but hardly any of them mm. uh, do. And um, you have to be a strong person because if you don't rebuild yourself and in the way that you were before you went in there, you can almost, I feel, come out too much of a different person. Okay. I think actually mm. you still need to hold on to your spirit and your personality. Mm. And um, so the first six months I hated it, you know. I was going home, you know, trying to talk all posh in East London, you know, uh, past so and So you're losing your roots. You know, well, like, it's that thing of like, you, I had to work so yeah. hard to just- to Maintain it. To maintain mm -hmm. it and be able to just have a range, you mm. know, and, um, and not be, I feel a bit 
narrow-minded and go, I'm not speaking like that. I'm from East London, mm. man. Do you know what I mean? I was be like, able to no. adapt and, uh, yeah, definitely. I'm an actor. I want to yeah. be able to have a range to play mm -hmm. different characters in different parts. And, um, but, but after six months, I realised I wasn't really working as hard as I could have been and then um, putting a bit more effort. And then from that moment, I never looked back. I got better and better. Uh, I got Brilliant. part of the team for this BBC competition that I got uh, runner-up uh, contract. What competition was it's that? It's called uh, Carlton Hobbs. It's for Carlton Hobbs, all the okay. drama schools compete against each other. And then the BBC pick uh, six winners and I think uh, two or three runner-ups, mm -hmm. you know, to give them contracts. And I was one of those people. Oh, so brilliant. that's against everybody in the country. And uh, so that was one, like, again, accolade, these mm. things that actors Telling just that you can do it, hold yeah. on to. They yeah. give you that belief. And mm -hmm. then the next thing is that I got an agent as I graduated from drama school okay. as well. And so... Well, I've heard how hard it is to get an agent when you graduate. Hey, so, I mean, yeah, you must, is it the same with modelling and that? You must. Uh, yeah, it's hard to get an agent as yeah. a model. Mm -hmm. But I've heard it's a bit harder as yeah. an actor. Oh, it's hard. To get a good, to get a good as, agent. That's yeah. the one. You yeah, you don't, some, you don't want any rubbish. You need a good... Know. You can yeah. get some cowboy agents, I'd say. Same, so. same within the modeling industry, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> seriously, seriously. There are a lot. But, um, but no, so like, you know, the journey's, you know, it's a long journey, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And um, you have, I've had hard and bad times, yeah. like a year <laughs> where I'm just like, God, I've not worked. And, um, and times where I'm on a scooter delivering pizzas and nice mm. bridge, you know what I mean, in the yeah. rain and... Uh, <laughs> Oh, it sounds like my life as well. <laughs> no, <laughs> the unglamorous side of it, yeah. yeah. It's, you got, I think those times still They're make tests, you the though, person. aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah they do. Yeah, they yeah. say, do you really want to do this? Is this what you really want to do? Mm, and yeah. this is the way to get, to get there. Totally, so, yeah. totally, totally. And uh, so, yeah. And, uh, and like I say, I started doing lo lots of theatre. I think I, didn't, I kept working nonstop for the first sort of three years mm -hmm. of my career. And... Um, working at places at the National Theatre, uh, like a West End, um, like Birmingham, a Rep, Leeds, West Yorkshire Playhouse. And during that time, it was quite good not having so much to do and having those small parts, because mm -hmm. you get to work with lots of great actors and watch yeah. from the distance, and you learn a lot of stuff from acting, from just observation mm. and looking at people. And when you, you work w watching these big actors, like I work with people like Leslie Phillips, like guy from all the Carry On films, mm. hello, and stuff like that. And, um, oh, I know who you're yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, now. Yeah. Guy, um, <laughs> you, know, you know, people like Paul Brennan that's been in EastEnders and done Aliens. And, and uh, each time when I was working, I just kept studying all these different actors. And, um, mm. and then uh, when your time comes, you get to eat a bit of a bigger part. You know, you sort of, you got your experience to draw on, but also stuff that you've been looking at and picking up. Mm you know, from working closely with these great actors. And uh, I think I upgraded, I say, in 2003, the same time that I did The Crouches. And I did a play called The People Next Door by Henry Adams with a fantastic actor and a, and a good friend of mine, one of my best friends, Fraser okay, was Ayers. he the writer? Or? No, uh, Henry Adams was the writer, but the lead actor in it mm. was uh, Fraser Ayers. He's okay. A, uh, mixed face actor that was in the smoking room and okay, he, and he, smoking. yeah yeah he won an award for that and we did it in edinburgh it blew up got loads of awards then it came to london stratford theater Royal east and uh that was i think the start of me sort of going into another gear and, mm -hmm. and, and growth as an actor and uh and in the same time i did a thing called the crouches that some people hate that some people love. Sometimes so who was your character? Sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> no, my character was Dennis Dutton. Oh, uh, yes, and Dennis. Uh, <laughs> the best way I can explain it is Dennis Dutton was... Uh, I used to love Desmond, and uh, Robbie G is one of my uh, favourite oh, actors yeah. and an inspiration. So Dennis Dutton was, um, I think, like a modern version of uh, Robbie G's character in Desmond. Mm. It's like a wide boy, stroke rude boy, uh, yeah, um, I played mm -hmm. a character called Dennis Dutton, and the best way to explain Dennis is like uh, I used to love Desmond, Desmonds, and uh, Robbie G is one of my favourite actors, and uh, I'm inspired by him a lot. And um, he used to play a great character in there uh, in Desmonds, and so Dennis Dutton for me was like a modern version of his okay. character. I can't remember his name for some reason, but um, but basically he was like a wide boy, stroke rude boy, you know. A local businessman, i.e., a bit uh, of a, you a know, a, some yeah. would say roads man <laughs> or whatever, you know. And I, I'm so not like that, honestly. Um, and uh, and so it's good to play him because he, 
he was a man that, you know, he, he had all the bling, the swagger, yeah. you know, that sort of, you know, if you had a, you know, I know you have a lovely daughter, she, if she brought him home, you'd be like, oh, oh no, 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 no. It wouldn't no, happen, no. he wouldn't get through the he front wouldn't get, door. Exactly, he was one of those, like... <laughs>